Drum, Philly film. Drum, games. Drum. It's over. Hey everybody, welcome back to the greatest show that ever was. Because we're canceled. <laughs> that ever was. Hint. <laughs> yeah, ever was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, no. Radar! Oh, Man, no. a lot has happened to you since you left MASH. Uh, you've really changed. Yes. Yeah, right. You used to be a little mealy mouse communication guy. Now you're hulking up. It's been working out. Yeah. You're hanging out with Lou Ferrigno. Coming the Incredible Hulk. He's trying. I guess he is. He's got the green down. Yeah, he about. does. God. When, when that show was on the air, the original television series... Mm -hmm. Um, Lou Ferrigno's character would scare me, so, like, I was actually, I think I was like two or three, mm -hmm. so whenever, uh, whenever he would start getting mad, you know, they would always focus on the eyes, mm -hmm. and so that was like my cue, apparently, to go, go running and screaming out of the room. To go find a different place. Yeah. <laughs> like... It didn't matter. It was just like I, like he would start growling and turning, and I, I'd start screaming and crying. Nice. And I'm like, well, yeah. Wouldn't that be everybody's reaction to that shit? <laughs> yeah. It's like this man is turning into a monster. I am scared. I'm out. Yeah. It's like I don't, I don't need to be a part of this. And then my parents would have to come and fetch me wherever I was fucking hiding. <laughs> wherever you have to disappear to. Yeah. It's like, it's only a television show. <laughs> fucking creepy! <laughs> Just carrying on a fucking tantrum because it's yeah. fucking Lou Ferrigno, goddamn. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, oh, motion. I have the power! Oh god, that was, uh, that was one of the things that, one of the, going back to the Cards Against Humanity thing, uh, one of the cards is about, um, a bunch of wash-up celebrities had to live with, uh, live with somebody. Yeah. And the one that, that I picked, that one, was, uh, Skeletor. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, I can totally see that. Fucking the cast of Jersey Shore was Skeletor. Yeah! Tell me something, the situation. Tell me all about gym tan and laundry. <laughs> yeah. Will it help Beast Man? <laughs> God. Oh, that. Skeletor always made me laugh. He does have, like, one of the best exits ever, though. Exits? Ever... Yeah, one of the times where he leaves a room. One of the best ones ever. He goes, he walks up, and he's got this mirror. Uh-huh. And he just walks into the mirror. Okay. And it like, disappears. And then reaches back out and breaks it. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Is that in the original television series? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, he's, That's fucking awesome! He just walks through it and then just, his arm comes back out and punches the mirror out. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, I always got a kick out of him. He, like he, like he's so threatening because, I mean, he's this big bulky dude with a skull for a face. Yep. And... But yet that voice at times just didn't lend itself to being the most threatening. No, he he definitely didn't sound like a real problem. <laughs> no. He's like, I'm tired. I... I'm trying to think of one of the other villains that I can't. Because uh, all I remember is Beast Man, because he was always there. I can't yeah. remember the witch's name or anything like that. No, I don't remember really any of the other ones. Yeah, I can remember some of the... Some of the, some of the uh, Masters of the Universe, like Man at Arms. Uh, uh, fuck, now I can't remember the guy that was basically a giant battering ram. Oh shit! Uh, I know who you're talking about. But yeah, I don't. I can't remember his name either. Uh, I just I remember my neighbor had that toy of him, and it was just a spring-loaded dude. Mm -hmm. He would put it down, and then he would just sort of spring and, you know, headbutt whatever. Yeah, he'd crash into things. Yeah, that was his whole gig. Um, the worst was my neighbor had the skunk. I don't remember the skunk. So, um, 
I think it was after they released, after they they started making the um, the spinoff for Shira. Okay. Uh, there was a skunk character, and yeah. he he. Uh, uh, my friend got two of them for his birthday. Okay. And his parents were very, very upset that this this was now in their house. Because even when you... I mean, it wasn't strong, but it smelled bad. Because mm-hmm. even the toy had the, had the stench of whatever the fuck it was supposed to be. You know, kids don't give a shit. They're like, ah, yay, it smells like whatever the fuck it is. Because for all I know, the damn thing's name could have been Skunkor. It probably was. What, yeah, because, like I mean, that's usually the trope you do, you know, when, um... Ryan, what the hell did you piss off? God damn it, boy! <laughs> Where are you going, you dick? The thing's down here. He He's what? ticked off something three levels underneath us. God damn, man! <laughs> Like, that would be like if I'm, I'm ha- okay. Like if I have a student in my in my office, and I'm like on the, I'm on the second floor, and they just see somebody walking out in the quad, and they just flip, fuck flip out and just jump through my window <laughs> yeah. to go kick their ass. And I'm like, the fuck just happened? Yeah. I'm like, this doesn't this isn't gonna look well in your grades, man. You know. Like, they're all mealy, you know. They're because given the given the time of year, or the time of the semester, like right now, they're all begging for you know better grades and whatnot. <laughs> so they're like, "Yeah, I've been really working hard um, to improve my grades, and I, I really think you know, is there anything I can do to possibly get some extra?" Oh my God, it's Shane! He's <laughs> 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 like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> and I jump behind underneath my desk, just praying that I don't die. Yep. <laughs> And he just bursts through. Just hurls himself through the wall. <laughs> he doesn't even use the window. He just bursts <laughs> through the brick. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Speaking of brick, maybe you can help me with this, because I'm dumb. Uh, as I've clearly demonstrated again and again. Because I can't figure out that um, two th- the difference between 2014 and 2016 is not two years. It's 12. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Whoa! Shit! I finished a quest. Oh, I got twenty five hundred for here. The twenty seven thousand was for the quest. Oh shit! Okay. Um. So, I walk by. There's a. Uh, Department of Agriculture building, on this street. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh hi. And they, uh, they're remodeling. Now, it was... Oh, you, you, you're just gonna... You're gonna walk behind him like, uh, he's baby my, ducks? He's my escort. Okay. Nobody will bother me if I'm with him. Yeah. Like he's cap- Like he's he's got us captive and we're just walking with him? Yeah. It's like, oh, no, that's... He's got this all under control. I don't have to worry about shit. Bye, guys! Oh, Ryan! Damn ya. But that no, they um, they've been remodeling, and so the building used well half of the building used to be uh, brick, but they ripped all the brick off and replaced it with I'm I'm gonna say oh well there like, goes any hope of not having to fight all those people there goes Ryan Jesus fuck. Actually, they're all down there. Oh, God oh, damn it. This is not going to end well at all. Oh. This is just going to go to shit. Yeah, this is not going to be good. But they... they, It's now, like, metal siding. Okay. And I'm trying to think, like, what kind of advantage this has. Because... I thought brick would is, like, the best thing that you could possibly use. Because brick can withstand a lot of shit. Yeah, and now it's like, like the closest the closest thing that I can even compare it to is like my mother used to have a tin roof. Yep. On her on her house, and it 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 was kind of cool because when it rained, that was neat. Yeah. But I thought it was a dumb thing to begin with. But I mean, what 
what possible advantage could you get from replacing brick walls with a metal siding? I don't. I, I have like no clue. I'm not sure. Especially here. Yeah. Like the the difference in temperatures around here. I can't imagine it being good for a metal for metal siding. Like, wow. do you know anybody who has a metal shed? No. Like around, like I can't, I can't even wrap my head around that sort of shit. Who? Oh, they didn't end well. I guess not. I mean, had to piss off everybody. God damn you, Ryan. But now you're level what, sixty-five? Maybe. I'm gonna have to fight this guy again. Aw. <laughs> Isn't that grand? It is grand. Well, it's too bad. We've already yeah. done it a couple times. Don't want anyone dying out there. Well, it's I mean, not this up to you. Yeah. I mean, this isn't like Dark Souls bad, but... Eh. Where everything's out to fuck you up. No, and in some ways Dark Souls is almost comical at times with yeah. how it happens. Yeah. I mean, from what, I, what I've seen and understand about that game, it's just like... You're in hell. Yeah. Try, try to make it. Yep, try to get out. Just... Yeah. Because, like, from what I gather, like, people complain that it's, it's, it's too hard, and I'm like, well, considering what the fuck is attacking you, when they would smack you with God knows what, yeah, you would lose that much. Yeah, that's been my kind of thing. It's like, the game is too hard, but you do know that you're taking on, like, demon lords from hell, right? Yeah. You're, this isn't supposed to be... Yeah. Fluffy, and you're an average person. Yeah. That's one of the key things in the game. You are just another dead guy. You're not really special in mm -hmm. any way. Right. So, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna suck. <laughs> Thought he was, like, gonna tap us around, like, hey, hey, check it out. Look, look, there's, there's people over there. Yeah, we're gonna fuck them. Dude, get ready. <laughs> Still want to try and avoid them. If yeah. You can. Yeah, I really don't want to piss the one that looks like a, the the design for the Firebird. Yeah. It's nothing but blades. <laughs> yeah. Cause you know he's just his whole life is nothing but screaming midlife prices. All I have to do is get rid of these two without getting sent flying. I was gonna say, can you run run out there towards the middle? That's where we were last time when we got sent flying. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. I usually get lost in my conversations. I have a tendency to do that. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest here. Like, I honestly don't give a fuck. I'm. I. I, I just. I just assume you know what the fuck you're doing, and I'm just gonna run at the mouth. I'm. I'm playing. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Let me tell you things. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> exactly what's just gonna happen. Oh, shame. Oh, that's a name. Yeah. They got, they've gotten some weird names uh, around here. Because I, I remember Sonar, which I called bon Boner. Oh, Bonar. Kept... Bonar. 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 shooting us with that slow gun from three yeah. levels above. Yeah. So guess what? You can't move now. Yeah. Onion. Oh yeah, Onion was one. Brave. Worst. <laughs> Worst Awake. Yeah, Worst and Awake, I remember that. Wet. Moist. Yeah, Moist, there it was. I was like, I know it's something Big, like wet. Yeah. That's his, uh, that's his recolored brother. Oh. Wet. <laughs> sure he'll be coming up here yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah, Wet will be showing up soon. As we get to the top of the tower to reawaken Zool. I really hope I'm going the right way. It says my quest is right there. Really? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm dumb. Oh, I see on your map. Yeah, Wait, it says it's over there, but my, I don't see an icon for it at all. Oh, did you, you check those three big things, right? Yep, and I got these. Could you check? Maybe that's what you gotta do, go up here. Because didn't she say there was something here about the ring? Yep. The shrine transporter. Well, that would just solve everything then, wouldn't it? 
Except it's like not turned on. Oh, well that's a problem. You know what? Yeah, I just suck. <laughs> so now what? Uh, let's just go back over to that tower. And see if maybe there's something there I have to do. Uh. uh there's your... Yeah, there it is. Uh, Can you move it over there or no? Central tower. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, how convenient. Sparkle. <laughs> A fairy tale diode. <laughs> Woo! Fairy tale. I don't know, we're gonna take the elevator up, I guess. Uh, maybe? Do, 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 do. That'd be hilarious. Like, you just jump in this elevator and all of a sudden music from Pilot Wings just starts playing. <laughs> it's a nice elevator. Because I'm sitting here, like, humming, like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm, I'm humming Pilot Wings. And you just see vague images of Lance come off the window. <laughs> God, that's a nightmare. <laughs> just Lance's face just in the background. Yeah. With his face of, like, oh. Utter disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment. Data center. Ooh. I pushed a button. And you got 500 experience points for it. Oh, shit. Oh. Do, 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 do. Don't tell me that just turned that on, so I have to walk all the way back there. Oh. No. I hope I can fast travel over there. Yes. Thank, thank Gordon. Look wow, at all these you... pretty pictures of things. Yes. Push buttons. Okay. Can I push buttons? Can I do the things? I want to push buttons. <laughs> Can I like the buttons? Apparently not. Fine, I won't do anything. No. <sighs> it's nighttime now, I guess. It's sure. It's it locked. appears to be locked. You cannot look through God knows what. <laughs> oh God, have you ever done that in an elevator? Mm-hmm. I've... I... What exactly does it do? Because I don't think I've ever done it. It doesn't do anything to... It's just you jump, yeah. so you're up higher, yeah. but then the floor's moving down. Yeah, that's true. So it's just a bigger drop. Oh, okay. No, I've never... I must be too naive. I just never think about doing that shit. Because to me, it's always... It's just like, that's a little bit... Although... God. There have been places where I've had to do depositions where... It's... Like, one that I remember specifically was in Pittsburgh. And it was on the... 50th floor of some building. Mm. It's one of those high-speed elevators. Oh, those are weird. Oh, God. Yeah, elevators are weird enough, but, like, I can only imagine doing that shit in that kind of elevator. Because I was surrounded by a whole bunch of people who were probably making more money a minute than I was in a day. Oh, cutscene. Hooray. Is... Uh-oh. Yeah, him. Oh, Gatto. Hooray. I don't know this, Gatto. I am Starscream! <laughs> I'm processing big words. In the name of love! You have to fuck him up. Yeah, I'm gonna kill him so that I can get you. Remember these! <laughs> Please remember! Uh, oh, is this gonna fight. be a boss fight? Oh, yeah. goody. Guess what? Next time on Philly Film Games, that's what we're gonna do. Gatto's going down. Fuck Gatto up. Yep. Hard! I wouldn't have it any other way. I hate it when it's soft. <laughs> it's not the same. No, it's not. 